Oh my God, but we have to move on. Uh, I don't know if I can take much more, but this next fight is another banger. Another banger. What did Chris Burke just tell you? So you uh, just clarified with the referee of that last fight, Chris Burke, and he said that when the mouthpiece dropped and he went in to give um, smite the mouthpiece, it was, he gauged it based on his body language with the heaving of uh, thinking that the fighter was going to... He didn't... Uh, Tyler Smite did not verbally quit. It was the referee that stopped the fight as he tried to put the mouthpiece back in. He didn't like the body language of the fighter, and he called the fight as a TKO. So that's what it was. We're moving on. In, in, uh, incredible fight for Martha Mopofo. I can't believe he came back from that fight. Unbelievable. We'll go back onto that later, but we're moving on to the professional fights now. Five minute rounds for the rest of the night. Michael the Titan Taylor has been a, a fan favorite here for a little while. He's fought the likes of Jeff Choi, Akobo Pito. He's been in some wars in his cage, and now he's stepping into the third war for the Cage Titans cage as he's going to go take on the maniac killer, Cam Arnold. Mike Taylor, a solid wrestler, heavy hands. He's not dancing this time around. He's just kind of coming in, all business, all focus. Zach Searle in his corner. His brother Seth, fair few in the corner. He's got a big test ahead of him, Cam Arnold. Cam Arnold, you know, you could say a million things, but one thing that is for sure true is that Cam has got the boom boom in both of his hands. Yes. He's definitely got a There's the dancing. There he is. There he goes. Michael Titan Taylor. You gotta love this guy, man. He brings the energy. Always. He's a character. And he brings it to fight, man. He's always in the fight. He's one in three in his professional career, but he's only fought studs, and he has taken them to some deep waters, yeah. too. And this is another undefeated prospect out of the, the Northeast that he's trying to hand a loss to as Killer Cam Arnold makes his return. We haven't seen him here since his knockout win over Rob Fuller back in 2020. He's been excited to come down here. He calls Cage Titans his honorary home. Loves making the trip down to Plymouth, Massachusetts, and he's feeling right at home right now as he's giving the handshakes to the fans. Devastating puncher, devastating power. His amateur career, nobody made it out of the first round with him. Nope. Yes, he clearly is from the mountains of Maine with that beard. Looks like he's, uh, he's, been, he's been hiding away in a, in a cabin somewhere. This kid right here. I mean, Cam Arnold, like, at 135, this kid has such crazy power. Yep. He's got that put you to sleep power. Not just sting you. He's exactly. putting people out with one punch, you know? He's done it to how many different people now? Um, left hand, right hand, it doesn't matter. That man connects on you. You know, he really, really produces tons of power over and over. Uh, We've seen him in deep water. We've seen him in three-round fights. He's got a lot of experience. He, that and he is a dense bantamweight as well, man. The kid cuts some weight, fills up nicely. He is a thick kid for 135 pounds. Stocky build at five foot six, compact puncher, and the kid takes risks in fights. He likes to throw bombs from downtown. Sometimes the chin is a little too high up for my liking, but he does not care. Throws caution to the wind and is determined to get the finish as we get ready for our first professional fight of the night. Take it to the tail of the tape, boys, sponsored by Coops. All right, Michael Titan Tail, the older guy at 31, also four inches taller at 5'10", and will have the reach advantage, three inch reach advantage. Two, two inch, two. Oh, I can't It's the same thing. It's all good. It's and we're gonna give it to Andy to make it official. <laughs> Watch the 
feet, six inches tall, and he weighed in at 136 pounds. From Lewis to Maine, he's representing the recon MMA. Let's hear it for Killer Cam Arnold. Our referee for this matchup is Steve Rita. Here we go. Let's see some fireworks. Yep. Steve Rita, our third man in the cage here for this pro Cam, MMA fight. Cam Arnold Ooh. just. Oh, oh, oh. Say, I, thought, go I thought they were going to fight early. No, 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 no. That's that's that. All respect. I, Cam Arnold just gave me the full T -L -L TJ Dillashaw treatment right there. Oh. We get ready for some fireworks. Nice feint to the Cam, kick, yeah. throwing a punch instead from Mike Taylor. Very creative striker. Cam's going to take his time. All he knows, he needs to get, all he needs is one. Michael Taylor, so tall and long at 135. I'd be careful with the, with the, yep. <laughs> Those heavy hands already. Think about Cam translating into pro fights. Nice that. jab from Cam. And his, his, his power style is actually very good for the first round, but oh, round two and little, three. Low blow there. A little bit. He tried rubbing it off like nothing happened uh, and yeah. keep fighting and then after the late reaction. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well because, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it happens. You throw a teep, someone jumps in too soon. It be what it be. Yeah, one of four pro fights that we've got on the docket tonight. <laughs> Cam walking it off. All right, he's good to go. That's good. Accidental low blow there. They touch him up, and they're ready to fight again. Cam Arnold trying to throw those bombs, throwing head kicks. Ooh. And Michael Taylor trying to stay short and crisp with his pinpointing strikes. Kick. Nice kick. Good job blocking it's it from Cam Arnold. It's a good thing because he definitely wants to give a shorter guy away from him, a shorter, more powerful guy. He does, he wants to tie him up. He doesn't want to stay a boxing range with, with Cam. Cam doing a good job beating up that inside uh, kick. Good job good keeping that guard. hand up. Good high guard. Cam known for his looping shots. Michael Taylor looks like he's done his homework. He's, uh, he's very aware of the weaponry of Cam Arnold right now and kind of having a defensive answer for all of it. So seems far, like so he's, good. Doing, he's doing Taylor. Oh, oh take that one big one though. Oh, he's gonna squash a flash of the heads there. Looks good like straight shot from Cam. Cam's there. starting to let him go. And Taylor's trying to pop shot counter him here, and he's landing some yep. good hands of his own. That's got a good yeah. two coming down the middle. Cam's timing, trying to hit him on the way out with the two. Yeah, that's a nice big right hand. Oh, this fight's all. Oh, oh no, man. Man. Taylor's smiling, trying to get back up. But man, Cam is landing bombs, and Taylor's still wow, posting. That might be it. That's okay. over. Good stoppage. There it is. Good stoppage right there. Looks like Mike Taylor's a little slow to get up right now. Looked like he was smiling, trying to get up. Yeah. Man, Cam Arnold's got bombs. Big right hand with a knockdown. Vicious follow-up. He did not let off the gas tank for a second until referee Steve Rita called a stop to it. And Mike Taylor back up to his feet. Might have a mild protest, but he got dropped, and there was a barrage of ground and pound there. I'm yeah. not mad at that. He went up a couple times. He went up a couple times there. Yeah, I mean, just so much power, Cam Arnold. <laughs> this kid, when he throws that right hand, it's throws, insane. He throws it with a vengeance. Every, every punch he throws is with bad intention. Yeah. I mean, you can just see it. It's just, his hands are so heavy. Let's take a look at the roof right here. I mean, oh man, Michael Taylor. I mean, he was trying to get up, but it was just—it was just too much. He was already wobbled. Yeah, he can't take too many of those. You know, just, just shot after shot on defending. He was moving, but not intelligently defending himself. Good call. All right, moving through him. Give you your winner by team. 